Allah said in this Bible is his book of commandments. We're supposed to be keeping the commandments. Like we're not supposed to be like this brother walking around as a homosexual. That's against God. That's against nature. God said we're supposed to keep his commandments. And this is his book of the commandments. This ain't a book of religion. This is not the book of Baptists. This is not the book of Catholicism. This is not the book of Lutheran. This is not the book of Presbyterian. This is not the book of the Episcopalian Church. This is the book of the commandments. That's right. We and the law that endures forever. Read it again. And the law that endures forever. Brother, why you running away from God's laws? Jesus. You got to keep God's laws coming to the kingdom. We just out here trying to build you to the marriage. We just trying to bring you to the marriage. We just trying to bring you to the marriage. We just trying to bring you to the marriage. We just trying to bring you to the marriage. We just trying to bring you to the marriage. Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in God? Okay, you believe this is his word. I'm going to show you what this Bible says it is according to God. Read it from the top. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. How many God's laws do you know? All right. What are those laws that you know? Right. Woman should cover herself up. Let me ask you something. Are you keeping God's commandments? You said you know that one of them is you shouldn't commit adultery. Are you committing adultery? So you don't be sleeping I'm with saving, multiple women? I'm saving myself for marriage. You're saving yourself for marriage. Okay. I got to believe you because, you know. Thing is, brother, God said this is his book of commandments and the law which endure forever. God said this book shows us how to walk according to how God has us walk. So check this out. I'm going to show you. Listen, listen in, brother. Don't, don't get confused. This is how you make it to the kingdom of heaven. This Bible. Read. Oh, they keep it shall come to what? The thing is, this Bible is, is life or death. That's what we out here for. We out here to save lives. This Bible is between life or death, brother. It's either you follow it and you have eternal life, or you leave it and you die. And you could die in many ways. You could die spiritually, you can die physically, and you could be dead mentally. And right now, brother, you look a little spiritual dead because you got that cigarette in your hand. That cigarette has chemicals in it that are meant to kill you. Like, who is in the... Let me show you a picture. Who is in that field picking that tobacco? Wasn't it us? Right here? We was picking the cotton, sugar cane, and the tobacco. Let me ask you something. Does Marlboro pay you any, any money for smoking that cigarette? What about LMM? What about Newport? What about, uh, what's that other one? Paul Mall. None of them pay you any money, but your people were in the field picking that tobacco. And don't it say on the package that it causes cancer? So why would you even smoke that, brother? You should stop that into the ground right now, man. You should put that out and stop smoking that. Do it, bro. Put it out, bro. You don't need it. Stop it out, bro. Step on it, bro. Step on it. Come on, step on that shit, bro. Hey, give us brother a hand, man. Choose life, brother. Choose life. Choose life. All our people know in the hoods and the ghettos is death. When you go to our neighborhoods, all you see is our... Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. All you see is our people walking around lost in the sauce. Mentally and spiritually. Homeless people sleeping on the streets. Like you said, our sisters be out whoring themselves out. Selling their bodies. That is not of God, brother. What do you got over here? First Corinthians? Nah. Read this over here. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, how do you listen to God's voice? Is it Kirk Frank Franklin? Is it Joe Osteen? What about T.D. Jakes at the Potter's house? God is not in them buildings. God's voice is this Bible. 
Bring it up. He said, but it shall come to pass if you won't listen to this Bible. This is a future prophecy. Let's see who it's talking about. Keep reading. To observe. To what? To observe. Read. To do all his commandments. Not just some of them. To do all his commandments. Not just two of them. To do all his commandments. God said to observe and to put into action all his commandments. God has 613 law, statutes, and commandments. He said, but if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all 613 commandments, let's see what happens if you don't listen and do those commandments. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee, this day, read, that all these curses, that all these what? That all these curses, what about living in the hoods and ghetto? That all these curses, what about them drugs in our neighborhoods? That all these curses, what about our people living in the section eight house? That all these curses, what about our, the CPS taking away our people's children? That all these curses, what about being locked up in a prison house? That all these curses, we shall come upon me and overtake. God said that his chosen children for disobeying his voice would be cursed and we didn't obey his commandments. I'm going to show you something. This is how we know who God chosen people are. Through these scriptures. We. Cursed shall thou be in the city. What about in Dallas, Texas? Cursed shall thou be in the city. What about in Houston, Texas? Cursed shall thou be in the city. What about Compton, bro? Curse shall thou be in the city. What about Shy Rack? Curse shall thou be in the city. See, anywhere you go around America, any city that you go to, where are people going to be staying at? Our people going to be staying in the Salvation Army. And be staying in the nearest ghetto. You go to South Dallas. You got Oak Cliff and Pleasant Grove, Baltimore Park Road, Glendale. Why is it that when you want to find our people, all you got to do is follow the nearest path of Swisher Street Rats? That'll lead you to any one of our neighborhoods. Or all you got to do is follow the train of homeless people walking around. That'll lead you to where our people primarily be at. Why, if God loves everybody, right, that's something common that they say, God loves everybody. If God loves everybody on the face of the earth, how come only the so-called black man is cursing the city and cursing the field? How come only the so-called blacks and Hispanics live in the hoods and the ghettos? How come only the so-called black men and Hispanic men have to learn about a whole other nation's history and not our own? How come they're still shooting us down in the street? Bring it out! Why? I'm gonna tell you like this, man. Oh, no, you know why it's like that? Because your mama don't fail. Your mama don't fail with you, man. Your mama didn't teach y'all to keep no shit. We're gonna read it again. Read 15 again. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. I said it would happen because we didn't obey his commandments. Because we don't listen to his voice. That's right. Earlier I said, this is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endures forever. Bring it out. So you got to keep God's commandments. You got to understand. You see that man right there? That's the devil according to the Bible. That's the same man that put your people on these slave ships. That's, right. That's the same man that put your people in chains. That's the same man that put your people in the car field. Am I wrong? Bring it up. God said it's just your enemy. That's right. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 48. I'm going to show you everything that you're going through. Tip on everything that you're going through, brother. Having to serve your enemy and want a food. Having to serve your enemy and want a water. That same man, his nation, the people, you got to go to his jobs. You got to go to his facilities. God said that was going to be a curse on his chosen people. God said that was going to be a curse on you. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. And verse 48, we, therefore, shall thou serve thine enemy. Now we're going to serve our friends. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemy. So then we're going to serve the white man. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemy. We, which the Lord shall sin against thee. Who sin him against us? Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Because it just said we didn't obey his commandments. So God sent that damn pale skin devil against us. He sent him against us and put us in the cotton field. He sent him against us and put us in chains on the slave ships. He sent him against us and hung our sister Mary Turner on that rope. That's right. 
God said that this was going to be a curse on his chosen people for disobeying his commandments. We're trying to get you to come back to his commandments, brother, because right now you're living in hell. God is stretching forth his hand unto you to pull you out of that fire. And you got to take a hold of it. Because guess what? If you continue to walk around here and not keep his commandments, guess who you're going to have to continue to go to in one of your food? You want to get some food? Where you going to go? Bring it up! You're in the kitchen, but like the food that you cook in the kitchen, where you got to go to get it? Nah, brother. If you want to go get some food, you most likely got to go to Walmart. You most likely got to go to Kroger's. Tom Thumb. You most likely got to go to one of day, one of day shops. God said that our people is going to have to serve our enemies. And we'll show you how we're serving our enemies. Keep reading. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. And what? In hunger. And what? In hunger. God said that we was going to have to serve our enemies in hunger. So during the time period of slavery, who was feeding us in them cotton fields? Bring it out. Who was giving us water in them cotton fields? Bring it out. Right. Who's feeding us today? Bring it out. Who's giving us water today? Bring it out. Who owns Ozarka? What about Fiji water? What about life water? What about that smart water? What about vitamin water? Who owns these companies, brother? Bring it out. Who? And in thirst. And in nakedness. And in want of all things. Said in thirst for your water. In nakedness for the clothes on your back. I guarantee you check the tag. Echo Unlimited. It's going to probably say made in China. Made in Vietnam. Made in Thailand. Where's y'all's home, brother? Right there. Hold on, hold on before you run. Okay. Hey, you a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. If your dad is a so called black man, you too, brother. You need to be keeping God's commandments. Take one of those flies and subscribe to our YouTube, brother. It's time for our people to come back. Kepha, what's your name? Robert, my name is Joshua. It's a pleasure to meet you, Robert. Let me ask you something, Robert. What is your nationality? You say African American. Okay. That's two continents. Africa is a continent, right? And America is a continent. So, let's start with Africa. Where in Africa do you come from? Huh? You don't even know. Okay. You, we know where you come from in America. You were from Dallas, Texas. Austin. Look how you just told me that you was from Austin, Texas, but you couldn't tell me from where in Africa you was from. Why did that happen? Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Why can't you tell me what nation of people that you descend from? Right? If I ask the so-called white man who you descend from, he gonna say, oh, I'm from Ireland. Or, oh, I'm from Finland. Or I'm from Czechoslovakia. Bring it up! How come when I asked you where you descend from, you told me a whole continent that has over 55 different countries? Would you believe me if God said that in his Bible that that was going to be a curse on his chosen people and I pulled it out of the scriptures? You wouldn't believe it? I'm going to show you. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue. From thy heritage. God just said that a certain race of people was going to discontinue from their heritage that he gave. So when I just asked you what your heritage was, what your nationality was, you told me African American. African American was a term that they coined in 1985 by Jesse Jackson. Right? How old are you? You're 20? Okay, so what? You were born in 2000? Okay, so you're telling me that you're only what? 15 years older than your nationality? That don't make sense, do it. So, before they called us African American, they was calling us Afro American. They was calling us Negro, colored, black, nigger. Why do they keep changing our name? I'm going to show you. Keep reading. And thou, even that so, shall discontinue from thy heritage. I said that you was going to discontinue from your heritage. Read. That I gave thee. That he gave you. Right? Because the so-called white man couldn't give us a heritage. So-called Asian man can't give us a heritage. Nobody else could give us a heritage but the most high God. Right? Read. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemy. 
reason why that we don't know who we are, so-called blacks, so-called Spanks, and Native Americans, is because God said that we was going to serve our enemies. And our enemies bring us over to this lame ass in the slavery on slave ships. Do you know that this is recorded in the Bible? God put this in the Bible as a sign and a wonder to wake up his chosen children. Let's see who God's chosen children is. Hey, sisters in the back. Hey, y'all two sisters back there. Y'all two sisters right there. Come here real quick. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Do y'all believe in God? Okay. What's y'all's nationality according to God? I just asked his brother the same question. Stay here. I'm going to deal with them. I'm going to deal with you. Sister right here, I'm going to ask you first. What's your nationality according to God? Bring it up. Black. Is your father a so-called black man? He's mixed. What's his, what's his father? What's your granddaddy? He's black, okay. What's, what about you, little sis? He's black. Come here, come here real quick. You got some shade. I want to show y'all something on the side. You too, brother. Look at this. Look on this chart right here. On this chart, on my left, it tells you who the society calls us, right? And you can see American blacks is right there. Right next to American blacks, it says Judah. These are the 12 tribes of Israel. In the Bible, God said that these 12 tribes are his chosen people. That's right. Would y'all believe something like that? Anybody ever told you that you were chosen, brother? Bring it out. What about you, sister? Has anybody ever told you that you were chosen by God? Bring it out. What about you, little sis? Y'all are the greatest people on the planet. That's right. And God said that his chosen children was going to go into a landmass into slavery by way of ships. Ain't that documented in history? That's right. Didn't we come over to this landmass on slave ships? God said that this was in the Bible, little sis. God said that this was going to happen to his chosen children for disobeying his commandments. That's right. Do y'all go to Sunday church? Do y'all believe in Christianity? Y'all got to get out of Christianity as soon as possible. That's right. Christianity is set up by an organization that was built to teach y'all lies. That's right. We're trying to teach y'all the truth according to this Bible. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6, one of y'all. I'm going to show y'all something according to this book. Y'all got to come back to this book and start reading it. Give me Revelation. Give me, you give me Revelations 1 and 3 over here. I'm going to show you. This is important. We're not just out here to just be talking. we out here to wake y'all up according to these oracles of God. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. We done established that God chose the people as these 12 tribes on this chart. So in this verse right here, Moses, who's only speaking to the 12 tribes of Israel, you'll, you'll get that in Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Now, read the scripture. For thou art an holy people. Wait, God just said that a certain race of people was a holy people. What does holy mean, big sis? What does holy mean? What about you, little sis? Give a guess. You got a guess? Holy means to be separate. Holy means to be severed, separated. God said that a certain race of people was holy, was separate from all the other races on the planet. For thou art unholy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. What did the Lord thy God do? Hath chosen thee. What did the Lord thy God do? Hath chosen thee. Y'all are chosen by God. God literally chose y'all to hold his covenant. A covenant is an agreement. God chose y'all to walk as the chosen amongst the earth, to keep his laws, statutes, and commandments because it separates us from all the other nations on the planet. But sister, big sis, it's important for you to listen to most because well, whatever you, are you, is this your younger sister? Your niece? Okay. So whatever you do, guess what she gonna do? The same thing. Whatever you say, guess what she gonna say? The same thing. You too, brother. You're supposed to be a man of God. So whatever you do, you're going to be teaching the next brother coming up behind you how to walk. And y'all, all three of y'all, y'all got to start walking righteous according to these scriptures. God said his righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And he said that his law is the truth. Y'all got to come back to God's laws. Because let me ask you something. How do you make it to the kingdom of heaven? Live righteously? Okay, what about you? You said what? You gotta live right. What about you, young sis? You gonna say if they see, say see? What I say? What I say? The thing is, the answer to what the question I just asked y'all is proven in the Bible. Somebody got it? 
Matthew 19, 16. Bring it Matthew 19, 16. Bring the thing it is, when we come out here, we're going to do this. We're going to go scripture, pre precept upon precept, line upon line. That's we're not right. going to give you our own words. We're going to speak the words of God. We, right. good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? So a young man came unto Christ. He asked him the same question I just asked all three of y'all. Okay? He asked you, how do I make it to the kingdom of God? That's right. We, and he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. There is God. But if thou wilt enter into life. But if you want to make it into the kingdom of heaven, but if you want to make it into the kingdom of God, into the twelve gates, keep the commandments. What? Keep the commandments. What? Keep the commandments. You got to keep his commandments. God has 613 law of statutes of commandments. Now, the first thing you're thinking when you hear that, you're thinking that's a lot of commandments to keep. But so-called, this society has over 40,000 different laws that you keep. Some of the laws you keep involuntarily. You don't even know, subconsciously. You just keep a law. Like, one of the laws is that you can't cross that street unless it says that right there where you could, it has that little white walking man. That's a law. That's, 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 God has 613. And one of his laws, listen up, sis, this is a law for the women. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. One of his laws for his women, because y'all chosen by God, so y'all have to be walking different than all the other women of the earth. Y'all have to be set apart because y'all chosen. This is one of the commandments for y'all to keep. Y'all can start keeping this commandment today. And then it help y'all walk into the kingdom of God. Ooh. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman, the what? The woman, the what? The woman. So we know it's talking to y'all. Show not what that which pertains unto a man. The thing is, God said that women are supposed to wear man's clothing. So what article of clothing pertains to a man? Pants. God said that women aren't supposed to wear pants. That's right. Now you thinking I'm, you thinking it's crazy. It sounds crazy because in this society we've been raised up since little children just to follow in the ways that this society taught us. That's right. But in the days of old, let me get our sign real quick. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. In the days of old, this is how our women dressed. This is how the godly women of the Most High Nation they dressed. That's right. They dressed modestly. Give me that First Timothy two and nine. They dress with a dress down to the foot. Like, brother, right here, this is the kind of woman that you want to get. You want to get a woman that's a virtuous woman. And these, y'all two women right here, y'all want to be virtuous women. The thing is, y'all have never been taught how to become virtuous women. Because y'all been taught lies by the whole society. This Bible is the truth. And the thing is, y'all don't never read this Bible. So how you going to know the truth if you don't read it? We're trying to give you the truth. Keep reading. Neither shall a man... Put on a woman's gun. Hold on, says one more scripture, one more scripture, one more scripture. Hold on, give me Zephaniah 2 and 1 real quick. Take this one scripture with y'all and contemplate everything that was taught to y'all today. And apply it to y'all's lives. Did y'all get a flyer? Hey, 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 get them a flyer real quick. And get y'all, y'all subscribe to our YouTube so y'all can watch our videos and learn more about y'all God. Read that in Zephaniah. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1, read Gather yourselves together. What they need to do? Gather yourselves together. What they need to do? Gather yourselves together. Make sure that Gather yourselves together. Oh nation. Not desired. Because we're not desired out here since we still getting shot down in the streets and locked up in the, in the prison. You gotta start gathering with your nation. Because we're gonna show you how to walk in righteousness and you're not going to have to be under these curses no more. Okay? So y'all, take that information and in in apply it to y'all lives. Okay? All right, Shalom. That's why we come out here. We come out here to teach our people.